We are no longer rolling out the red carpet to foreign criminals, apparently. Did you know that until today, somebody could have been sentenced to four years in prison abroad and then still have been given British citizenship? It's bonkers, isn't it? But what would be the chances of them coming over here and then getting a job and being able to help our economy, if they get off the plane, they rock up at the job centre with a criminal record as long as your arm. It's not happening, is it? Twilla Braverman is now going to make it very difficult for anyone who's received a 12-month sentence to get a British passport. Look, it's a step in the right direction. The reality is we have more than enough foreign criminals here already and we're unable to deport many of them by the looks of things. In fact, to be fair, we have enough British criminals as well, don't we? Police are now solving less than six percent of crimes. That report dropped yesterday. Reports also show that rapists and murderers are among the hundreds of foreign criminals who have gone missing in the UK. Kidnappers, gun criminals and robbers as well. A Home Office report from a couple of years ago shows that it was managing the cases of 21,094 foreign offenders, including 6,030 who were in jail, 1,036 who were in immigration detention, and a whopping 13,212 just living in the community. Yet the number removed from the UK has dropped from 6,437 in 2016 to just 2,676. That was in 2021, although that was due to COVID, apparently. Well, maybe anybody who is murdered by one of those foreign rogues will go down as another COVID-related death. But we couldn't deport Ernesto Elliott, who reportedly had 17 criminal offences to his name in the UK, including possession of an imitation firearm before he slaughtered a man during a knife fight. He used the right to a family life to be able to stay in Britain. Somali immigrant Wabi Mohammed was jailed for his role in planning the 21-7 bombings, which was a failed attempt on July the 21st, 2005, to replicate the 7-7 bomb attacks, which killed 52 people in London two weeks earlier. He was released on bail in 2013, uh, and apparently we couldn't deport him because he faced persecution in his own country. And his lawyers wanted to stop MI5 surveillance of him because that would have been some form of torture. I mean... This guy, it would appear, didn't mind too much about people being blown to smithereens or burning to death. But hey, let's look after his human rights. Let's keep him here, shall we? It would be a crying shame, of course, if he suffered at all back home in Somalia. It is blindingly obvious, isn't it, that the best way, maybe the only way, to prevent foreign criminals from killing or raping people and then remaining in Britain, shock horror, is to stop them coming to Britain in the first place. It is a privilege to live in Britain, not a human right.